Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a DIY homeschool room makeover. I am transforming my master bedroom into my son's homeschool room and I am doing this all on an extreme budget and not only that but I actually made money in this process. I'm going to show you how coming up in just a little bit. If you are new to my channel, then hello, my name is Megan and I am a mom of two little kids. Their names are Jaden and Everly and this year we are homeschooling, so we are doing all of our school virtually. But if you are new, I would love for you to subscribe. I make new videos every week on motherhood, daily routines, cleaning, everything like that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider hitting subscribe and share this video with your friends. And if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button. That really helps my channel grow so that I can come on here and continue creating videos for you guys. Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump on into the video. By now, it is a minute and a half into the video, which means you have watched me struggle for a minute and a half straight. I did this all by myself. I am not strong at all. I'm five foot two. This was a challenge for me, but I got it done after a lot of willpower and coffee. If you're not interested in seeing me take everything out of this bedroom and clean it up, then I will leave timestamps right here on the screen so that you can either skip ahead to the homeschool room decor hall or the actual decorating of the homeschool room. So like I already mentioned, this was my master bedroom and I gave it up. I gave it to my kids because we needed a homeschool space dedicated just for schooling. And I say I gave up my master bedroom, but I willingly gave it over to them because I sleep upstairs anyway on a couch just to be closer to my kids because they sleep upstairs. And I don't like sleeping on a different floor than them. So in the guest bedroom upstairs that I sleep in, I ended up moving that couch out and I finally moved this bed up there so I can finally sleep on a nice mattress and not have a stiff neck and a stiff back all day from sleeping on that hard couch couch and I've been meaning to do this for a long time but just haven't gotten around to doing it so this was the perfect time and I am so glad I finally took the step and did it so like I mentioned this was on an extreme budget I am a single mom so I did not have much to put into this room makeover so when I was cleaning out my room I noticed that there was this nightstand that was always next to my bed but was never really used and I also had the vanity those things were just not important to me. Um, it's not necessary for me to keep them. So I cleaned them up, took pictures of them and put them on Facebook Marketplace and sold them both within a day. And I have sold tons of things on Facebook Marketplace, apps like Offer Up and Let Go. And I have found that the best way to sell your items on there and to get people interested is to clean whatever it is up, clean it up really well and then almost stage it. So I placed these flowers and candle that were on my entry table I place them on there and then and then I brighten up the picture in the editing app that I use and just made it look really bright and appealing to the eyes so it would stand out and more people would be interested in buying it and I got hits on this almost immediately I got tons of messages and it sold really fast but definitely don't edit the picture too much don't like change the colors or anything like that just brighten it up so that the picture looks nice and fresh so on everything that I ended up purchasing for this room, as far as decor items and things like that, I found at the Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot. So that is where I got everything from and I spent way under $50. I probably spent under $30 on everything. I'm gonna show you the prices during the haul in just a minute. But on these two items, I sold the vanity for $250 and I sold the nightstand for 60. So I ended up making a profit by doing this room makeover, by selling things that I didn't need, and by shopping my home. So some of the furniture that I bring in in just a little bit that you're gonna see is actually things around my house that we just weren't using in those areas or that could be repurposed into this area. So in doing a room makeover on a budget, definitely consider getting rid of anything that just isn't necessary, that you're not using as much as you could be, and shopping your own home for things that you already have and repurposing them into the space that you're working on. 
knew that I could make it if I ran Then I saw you walking out the back door Hand in hand with another man How long, how long, how long Did you wait for me? So this little cubby cube or whatever you want to call it you guys probably recognize from my other videos it was in my entryway and underneath we would keep our shoes and on top I would just decorate it for the seasons but I repurposed it put it in this room because it was just kind of getting cluttered and it was an excuse for me to put my stuff on top of it every time I walked in the door so I just knew it would be more practical in this room okay so now let's get into the homeschool decor haul so these things I'm gonna put in the cubbies they were from I believe the dollar store but I also had them laying around my house this is from the Target dollar spot a to-do list for our tasks each day to help me stay on track I have a sketch pad here that they can draw in just three dollars this was a really cute calendar from Target as well and then these are display clips which you'll see me put up in just a little bit just to display the artwork that the kids do on the wall and then this little five pocket organizer was from Target as well and you can hang that on the wall. These were a dollar from the dollar spot at Target. And then these days of the week and months of the year also from Target for a couple dollars. And then these are just some letter clips and number clips that I thought we could use for math and those were three dollars. And then we have another one of these just because you can never hang up too much artwork from your kids. They get so proud of their work and it's just so nice to be able to display it. These notebooks for Jaden's age, he's in first grade, are excellent. They have the lines and then on top they can draw a picture. This is what his school recommended, so we love these. He used them last year in kindergarten. I found them at Target. You can also find them at Hobby Lobby and I have a link to my Amazon storefront where you can find them as well. This might be one of my favorite purchases of this haul. It is Calming Strategies and with this big change, there's gonna be lots of emotions and it's probably gonna be overwhelming this has so many great ideas for kids that they can just sit and look at one of these cards and take some time to themselves to kind of calm down and figure out ways to help them through that. So in my next video, I'm gonna be using that one and creating a, I guess, calming area for my kids to kind of go in when they need some alone time and just need to kind of regroup and help calm themselves down. And then these are really cool, $3 from Target, and it is all of the letters of the alphabet and it's wall decals. So I actually let Jaden and Everly put those up themselves the next day after I surprised them with this room. So I wanted to go ahead and decorate it and surprise them in a really big way, but I did still want to include them and make them feel like part of the process after the surprise and everything. So I left a couple things out for them to be able to put on the walls and decorate themselves how they want to. I really love these to decorate the walls, just some really big motivational decor right there. I thought it was so cute if we can get that focused maybe. Yep, there we go. So anyway, you'll see me put these up in a little bit and it does not go nearly as great as I thought it was going to in my mind, but it still looks cute and they ended up loving it. So that's all that matters. So this was one of my least favorite items I purchased just because once I opened it up, there were so many little pieces and I just did not know what to do with it. So I actually kept that aside and I'm letting Everly use that one and she's been having a great time decorating the bear and that just, I, I probably would not recommend that one. But anyway, that cork bulletin board was from Target as well, but I am gonna end up returning that just because I really don't have a purpose for it like I thought I was gonna have. So that one's gonna go back and I think it was around $10 maybe, I'm not really sure. But all this other stuff, as you saw, was between $1 and $5, and I think I did a great job on saving so much money by shopping Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot at Target. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our feet. Now I'm gonna go through and unpackage all of these and start putting them up. And Everly was in there a little bit. She did not know what was going on. She had no clue. She was just kind of running around aimlessly, but I didn't have anyone to help me watch the kids this week. So I had to just try and keep them out as much as I could. And clearly it was a lot harder to keep Everly out than it was Jaden, but in the end it all worked out. They were surprised, so it was worth it. You and I, the future is bright. I'm so 
sorry the lighting gets really bad here, but I had to wait until after they were asleep so that I could finish up some of this. So I tried to brighten it up as much as I could, but this is the best I could do. So I'm using command strips for this. I don't even know if I've ever used them before. I'm just completely new to all this stuff. So if you see me struggling, that is why. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try and center this little cube in between these two windows so that I can try and get everything as centered as possible because I don't feel like taking out a level or a ruler or whatever the heck you use for things like this. I'm just winging it. I know it doesn't look great. Just let it happen, okay? <laughs> some of these Pokemon pictures and cut them out. So I am hanging them back on this just to display his work. So that way it's not completely bare in here and it just looks so cute and really special for his own space. be bringing in is that table which we just had kind of up against a wall in the playroom with a couple things sitting on it and then I'm just looking around because I have no clue what I'm doing I'm just winging this whole entire project these two little IKEA chairs were just kind of sitting around in my office for the kids to sit next to me when I'm on my computer so I just brought them in there as well and then here are the decals again that are gonna go on the wall and originally I was gonna put them on this blank wall but then I decided to let the kids do that the next day wherever they wanted you guys, I played with this wall for so long and every time I look at it now, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Also, um, I was using thumbtacks on everything because I didn't want to use nails. I didn't want to waste command strips because those things are expensive. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a ton of little holes all over the wall once this comes down, whenever that may be. But that's okay, it's for the kids. I just have to keep reminding myself that. And again, I am fully aware that none of this ends up even, but you know what, my kids don't care. They don't care if it's perfectly even or perfectly level. The only thing that they see is a fun space to do their schoolwork in and that's all that matters to me. Although I will admit, it is really funny to watch me struggle trying to get things straight right here. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down. This little Pokeball light, I actually got Jaden for his birthday, but we had not yet put it up in his room or anything. It was actually just sitting on the stairs for the longest time. So I took that out of the box and placed it kind of in the corner here just to give it another little personal touch of something that he really enjoys. And I won't stop, I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm gonna this was something that I already had that I got from the Target dollar spot last, I think, November because for Christmas I actually redid their playroom. So this was just something that I didn't end up using in that room and I was trying to find a place in here that it looked good, but I just couldn't end up finding any. I put it up in two different places, wasn't a fan, took it down, didn't end up using it. So. That's okay. Yeah, I am on my way. This was one of the rugs from upstairs in the playroom, but I thought it would look better in here and kind of stand out and be a good centerpiece underneath that table right there. But I got that rug originally from Hobby Lobby last year. And then the bookshelf there in the corner, I got off of Facebook Marketplace last year for about $10, I believe. They have the exact same ones on Amazon for like $30, but I'm not paying $30 for that. So I found it on Facebook Marketplace for a deal. And then the lamp in the corner there was actually mine when I was a kid. So I've kept that all these years and it's kind of gone back and forth from different rooms and now it is in the homeschool room. These bottom two cubbies I got from Target I already had. I just was finding a new place for them in these cubbies and then the top ones I already had as well, but those were from the dollar store. I'm like 99% sure. So those were only a dollar if you want to go and get those yourself. Yeah, I am on my way. Uh, 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 uh. I won't slow down. I am on my way. Uh, uh, uh. I won't slow down. Twenty.
twenty something years ago. Those cold nights in December, and the sound of the falling snow. The fireplace warming us. The VHS movie box. Your old broke down. This computer was already Jaden's. It was in his room on the floor. I have not been letting him use it just because he's seven and I didn't want him to be able to have his own computer yet. My mom purchased that for him a year or two ago, but like I said, he just hasn't really been using it at all. So I'm gonna set it up in here. And the school that he is enrolled in actually gave each student a Chromebook that they want all of the kids to do the assignments on. So I put this computer up before even knowing that he was getting a Chromebook. So we will be taking that back out and putting the Chromebook in, but the blue color just looks so cute, I wanna leave it in for a little bit longer. And then this wall hook I actually got for another place in my house earlier this year from Hobby Lobby when their wall decor was 50% off, so I ended up getting that for $12 but I wasn't using it in the space that I originally intended to use it for, so I thought I would put it in here to put his backpack and a coat on just to make it feel a little bit more like a classroom. And here is the final look. I was so excited with how it turned out. You guys, I'm not creative at all, like literally at all. So I was really proud of this and I just really wanted to make something special for the kids since this is just a tough year with not being able to go to school and seeing their friends and things like that. So I just really wanted a very special cozy place that they could go and learn in. Okay, I'm about to show you their reaction. It was so cute, they ended up loving it. So I am gonna show you that in just one second. But thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite decor item or your favorite part of this room makeover. I would love to hear what your favorites were. Mine, I think, was the, oh gosh, I don't even know. I think that's mine right there, the art clip displays. But let me know what yours was and thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Misunderstanding and words unspoken. We fall apart.